Hi, I'm going to show you how to visualize time series data with Pandas. So let's get started. Pandas is a library that's built on matplotlib um, and you can just use that for a lot of time series visualizations. Um, you don't need to stylize anything but it'll give you what you're looking for. And if you have the updated Jupyter Notebook, you don't have to do much besides enter um, your pandas library. So let's import pandas as pd. And let's load in our data set, which I'm using an avocado sales data set. I'll leave a link to that in the description. Um, and let's take a look at the head of that to see what we're working with. So of course we have a date column because we're going to be visualizing time series data. But one of the most important things that you need to do when you're visualizing time series data is or set the index as a date column. So we're going to do that when we read in our CSV. We can specify the index column index call parameter and we want the date and then I'm going to use parse dates so we can read that as a date column and set that to true and we run that and we can see that it's changed now once you have this it's very easy to start plotting data we can isolate a column that we're interested in and let's take a look at the average price column average price and all we need to do is use the plot command and we run that and now you can see that information very easily of course we can optimize the size of that by using fig size equals and adding in a tuple which is going to give us our inches so I'm going to use 12 and 8 and run that and if you wanted to get rid of this information that pops up here you can just add a semicolon there and then it won't show anymore so that's a lot of information because this is broken down at the day level and sometimes it's very hard to see that um, so there's a couple things you can do you can zoom in to a particular period using the date index so let's do that set the x limit here just by using that parameter x lim we need to give a start and end date and I'm going to use let's say 0 1 0 1 all right, so that'll allow us to zoom in. And as you can see, it's uh, uh, there's a lot of variability in each one of the days. Um, and a way to get around that is aggregate the data into a different frequency. So if we're looking at a day frequency, we can resample this data and look at the month and the week and the quarter. So if you wanted to resample this data, you could use the resample function. And then we would set what we want this to be resampled at. And also, I would want to identify, in this case, I just want to use average price. So W is week, M is month, quarter is Q, and day is D. That's just a very simple, but there's a lot of other ones. So I've resampled that data, but we need to tell it how do we want it to resample. Do we want to resample it on the sum? So what's the aggregation? So I'm going to use mean, and then that data will be resampled. Uh, I forgot M... And then let's run that again. So then we have it resampled by the week and the mean. And of course, if we wanted to plot that, 
we just use dot plot. And now you can see that the data is a little bit more readable as compared to our previous plot. And of course, you can change this to quarter or month. We can also make our customizations to this, to this by adding our figure sizes. So we can make that one extra long and it's a little bit too long. And also we can zoom in with our XLIM. Because this is very flat, we can also set our Y limb to see a little bit more variation. So let's also do that equals and we can see that it's probably the lower barrier is somewhere around 1.25 and the higher barrier is, looks like you know less than 1.45 so let's set that our x limb we're going to set because we sorry our y limb we're going to set that y axis and the bottom one i'm going to use at uh, and 1.2 and then the top one I'm going to use at 1.45 and let's run that now it's a little bit higher let's put five a little bit more variation in that data I hope this helps you visualize your time series data with pandas thank you